Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Timony. I know it's been a while. I was taking a break. A lot of stress from school these days. But I'm back. I'm back. And I have a green screen. I have a green screen. I wish I could turn it off. This is not my best key, as you can see. It's not great. Not one bit. But it does exist. And my Chrome key is existent. I don't know why I'm just replacing the green with green. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's get started. And let's switch over. Okay, so we're here. Um, basically, we're going to go into our web browser. Woo, our web browser. And over here, we're going to go to papermc.io. This is going to be your Minecraft server. You're going to press on downloads, and you're going to wait. You're going to minimize this, right click, new folder, and name it server. Double click, and we have a brand new open space ready for us to paste things in. So we're going to go back here, and the reason I'm using paper is because it's a very optimized server. It's very great. I mean, you could do this with any old computer. Um, what I do recommend is installing Java, and if it's a brand new installation of Windows, I would install Java 15 and use that, but you don't need to. Um, so you're going to press this little download button, the top one. For me, it's 547, but who knows if it's going to be a newer thing. This is Minecraft 1.16.5. We're going to press keep. I know it says that there's a security risk, but trust me, there is none. Now we are going to, why would I ever do that? I just started the server. Okay, anywho, we are going to drag and drop into the server folder. We are going to rename it to server.jar. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop the server one second here. In the server folder, we have server, wow, my spelling is bad, server.jar. We are going to right click, new, text document and name it start.bat. We are basically going to be coding our own program. It's a little different than that. And then you're going to go to this page, link in description, it's the Minecraft wiki. And we could, in, in, in some cases, we could copy this. Why can I not use my fingers? We could copy this entire command, which is all the way down at the bottom with the example command, which I will also have in the description. Here we are. And we are just gonna copy all the way over to the dot jar part. We are going to right click on this start.bat file. We are going to press edit. And we are going to paste in that command, control V. So it says Java. This is basically telling it to open Java. Dash XMX, which is the maximum amount of RAM that it can use. We are going to set this for me to nine gigs because I have <laughs> more RAM than most people even should have on a computer. And it's going to do dash jar, and then you're going to put server.jar. Um, quick note, whenever you update the server, which you just do by downloading a new jar, stopping the, other, the old server, and replacing the jar, make sure you have the exact same name, and it's always going to stay the same. It has to be server.jar is the name, or else this code is going to be broken. Anywho, we can just double click. Downloading vanilla jar, patching vanilla jar, and um, loading libraries, and it's going to stop. It's not a problem. We're going to double click on eula.txt and change this to true. I would highly recommend reading this um, end user license agreement, but if you are like me and you don't care for it, you don't have to. Double click on start.bat one more time. I'm just gonna zoom it in for you, but it's a little too zoomed in. It's going to say a bunch of stuff that most people won't even know. So it's going to generate a new world. Unable to find spawn biome. That's okay. Because 
it's creating a new world. If it has two screens, it's totally fine. I have given it quite a lot of RAM, so it's barely used anything. You can hear the, the fan on my computer is going a little bit crazy. It's a pre-built. I don't like pre-builts anymore. They're trash. Goodbye, Dell. All right, anyhow, timing's reset, which means it is done. To access it, to start messing with it, you're gonna go into your Minecraft app, click on multiplayer, proceed, and just for now, we are going to type in L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T. Basically, it means it's connecting right onto your computer. We're gonna press join, and boom. If you want to just be done, you're done. Get your wood, you can do whatever, right? Make a crafting table, you know. All that cool stuff. This is actually a really nice spawn. But as you can see, you don't have any crayons. No TP. Uh, I'm sorry, but you do not have the permission to perform this command. That is not good. So you're going to type in right here, OP, and then put in your Minecraft name. Boop, made your name a server operator. Perfect, we're almost done. But now we are going to type in whitelist on and whitelist add and then your player name. Basically what this is gonna do is only allow certain people to join on the server. Every time you want a new person to join on the server, you are going to, you are, ooh, this is nice and pretty. Every time you want someone to join the server, you're gonna have to add that and they can just keep on going. This is a very nice server, um, but it doesn't really stop there. Now that you have commands, you can't do easy commands like slash fly. So we are going to do, and slash game mode creative, uh, slash creative doesn't work because of one very important thing. First of all, what? Please, thank you very much, that's much better. But we are going to download something called essentials. So we're gonna create a new tab and type in essentials x. Right here, essentialsx.net. It is probably the best plugin and one of the only plugins you're ever gonna need. So download essentials x spawn and essentials x. Any of these other ones, if you need it, then sure. Custom word prote world protection, anti-build, any of that, if you need that, do it. Chat formatting, you can do that. Um, but basically, we're gonna keep, keep, and we are going to open up our downloads folder. I would make a new tab on here in downloads. So these new, fold, these new files are gonna go into this plugins folder that's automatically created, and you're just gonna bring it in there. Boom. Now, you're gonna see that if we type in restart, it's not actually going to restart. It's going to stop. And that's... The bird is going crazy. Basically, what we're going to do is type... Is double-click on server.properties. If it asks you to find a new program to open this with, you're just going to open with Notepad. And we, are, we can change some stuff here. PvP, if you want to disable that, you can do that. Max players. You can change that. Max build height. Allow the nether. Obviously, if you want a vanilla server, you wouldn't want to change any of this. And spawn protection, turn that to zero. Turn that to zero. There we go. That's all for that thing. Oh, if you want to change the setting, of course, you can change that. So if I want this to be a normal mode, a normal mode server, then I do that. Um, we are going to change the MOTD to be the most special server ever. And that's just because it's a special server for you guys. Just kidding. I'm not going to have a public server. Too many hackers. But, um, view this and blah, 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 blah. We don't need to change any of that anymore. We're going to do spigot.yml, double click, press open with notepad. I'm opening with notepad++. plus plus because it's what I prefer to use. So restart script, we are gonna do start dot bat. I gotta actually double check that I'm doing the correct thing once set. So yes, what this is is correct. Just make sure it 
it's capitalized just like your regular thing. So you're going to make a type slash dot start top pat. We're going to click on yes, restart on crash. We would like that on. And uh, that is it. Yeah. So, so now we're going to double click again. Restarting should work on a uh, crash and everything else will be great. So it's loading libraries. All this is loading. Oh, I didn't know that this let you type in it. That's pretty cool. So you see essentials is just doing everything. And timing's reset. It started. So we're going to, in this case, we're going to do the special one. So you joining the server on your, on the, so you, when you're joining the server, you are going to grab the IP address of the server. So how you're going to do that? It's not hard. It looks scary, but it's not scary. Type in CMD. And you're going to type in IPCONFIG. I have a ton of these, but you're going to find the one that, that says something very similar to what mine says. So I'm going to go find it because I have so many adapters. Ethernet adapter, Ethernet is what mine says, but it might be Wi Fi or WLAN. It says that my IP address is 192.168.1.215. Great. Okay. So we're going to type in 192.168.1.215. Done. It says the special one. The most special server ever. We can click. And boom. Now we have fly mode and we also have creative mode. But now we can do slash fly. Easy. Now we can't fly. Slash fly again. And we have really nice commands like slash item name or item rename, item lore. We can set set. Hello. And now like this. Well, I don't. Not have any lore text add okay well I really don't know how to do this but if you do then great I mean some of you know more about Minecraft than I do but basically what you can see is the server is keeping up pretty well um, it's generating all these trunks these trunks these chunks that's a high mountain Wow. Wait, is this like 1.17? Is this amplified or something? What? Is this coarse dirt? It is. Oh, that's really cool. Anywho, you can mess around on the server. It's going to most likely automatically put you on survival mode, anything like that. If you want friends who are far away, which is probably what you're going to do during this COVID time, then you're going to have to do some easier things, but some things that I can't guide you through. The first thing you are going to need to do, it's very simple, is find your IP address. And that I will be able to teach you how to do. So you just t type in what is my IP to Google, and it's going to tell you that. I can't show you because it's different for everyone and <laughs> it's very private. You would be able to join my Minecraft server if you had that. Um, but that's basically it. So once you know that, you are going to go into your router settings and you are going to set up something called port forwarding. Um, port forwarding is basically ha when you take a port that's on your computer, so in Minecraft, the port is usually something that starts with 2 and ends with 5. In Minecraft, the port is usually 25565, and you are going to forward that. So on your router settings, you are going to select the device or the IP address of the device, the device that we found earlier. And then we are going to for port forward it using this guide that I found on WikiHow, and I'm also going to have it in the description. And yeah, 
it's all gonna work just like that and everything is going to be great it's all gonna be great how did I have ads I have ad block how in the world are there ads that's amazing how did you do that um but yeah it depends on the router and that's why I really can't show you because I have a really trashy one um but oh I wasn't even showing you so yeah that's better Yeah, I mean, it's not super hard of a thing to do. It's not, you know, impossible. You are you can have your own Dream SMP by doing this. I mean, what else would you want? My face is pitch white. I look ugly. Let's fix that. Ow. I was white. Okay, okay. Enough about me thinking I was white. Um, we, it's a very simple process. You can pause and unpause and everything. It's pretty nice. So, if you like this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed. Maybe consider looking and downloading and trying the stuff we featured at the links in the video description. And, um, make sure to check for shorts happening almost every week. So, I mean, it's something that's going to show you what I'm doing in the world. Um, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. See ya.